In the Hebrew Bible the name of God is written as YHWH. The pronunciation of YHWH is uncertain since ancient Hebrew was written without vowels. But once vowels were introduced, God's name was then commonly pronounced as Yahweh. YHWH is derived from the Hebrew verb to be, indicating that God is the one who exists and the one who causes all things to be. In Exodus 3.14, when Moses asks God what his name is, God responds with, I am who I am, which is often interpreted as a reference to the name of YHWH. The name of God appears over 6,800 times in the Hebrew Bible, and because of its sacred nature, the name was not spoken aloud by the ancient Israelites, and its pronunciation was eventually lost over time. Instead, they used substitute names such as Adonai, meaning Lord, or Hashem, meaning the name. In the Hebrew Bible, the word for breath is ruach, which can also mean spirit or wind. In the creation story in Genesis, God breathed the breath of life into Adam, giving him life. So the breath of life is seen as a manifestation of God's power and presence. The association between God's name and breathing is also present in the Gospel of John. Jesus breathes on his disciples and says, Receive the Holy Spirit. In the book of Ezekiel, the prophet finds himself in the valley of dry bones, surrounded by a lifeless scene. Yet God instructs him to prophesy to the bones, saying, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. So remember, just by breathing you speak the name of God. Every person walking the earth breathing speak the name of God. Even people that do not accept him still speak the name of God. When you are born, the first thing you do is speak the name of God. And in your final moments, when you take your final breath, the last thing you do is speak the mighty name of God.